Okay, so a bit of context on this. The US market was up 4% last week. Wall Street had its best year, uh, sorry, best day rather, this year on Fridays. So I think a lot of the performance we've seen in Asian markets today has been driven by the US. But ultimately, equity investors like low interest rates. And over the course of the last few days, it's become clear to us that the Federal Reserve and also the European Central Bank are talking about a much more uh, low rate environment and from that perspective then from an equity investor if you've got lower rates then equities are a better asset class to be in. So would you be looking at adding to your positions when it comes to equities at this point in time uh, given that we have got uh, gains if of course we do see lower interest rates uh, going forward and with markets liking lower interest rates you have to expect that markets are set perhaps for further gains going forward so what's your trading position around that then? Well, I think what we're thinking is lower interest rates will help uh, companies navigate through more difficult economic times. But I think the one thing we are expecting is that earnings forecasts are probably too high right now. So I think earnings might be slightly disappointing. But I think some markets are slightly insulated from the kind of global macro environments. And one market which we particularly like right now in the region is Japan, because we think Japan in many ways is quite insulated from the global macro uh, economy because the companies there are very, very strong in terms of their balance sheets. And those companies are actually looking at changing the way they are dealing with shareholders. We're seeing this a lot with some of the big names, the big names like Mitsubishi, the big names like Sony. Um, these companies are returning money to shareholders through share buybacks and dividends. And with that type of engagement with shareholders, then we think that Japan, in many ways, can emulate what the US stock market has done over the last 10 years, which has delivered very strong performance based on some internal measures that companies can take. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.